right, we're on Tara, Perikei Mishnah Gimel, third Mishnah, in the fifth chapter of Masachet Taharot. We're back to our Shnei Shvilim, our two roads, Echad Tamei Be'echad Tahar. One is Tamei and one is Tahar. And remember we said that, in, that it's Suffolk, Tuma Bishuta Rabim Sveiko Tahar. So therefore, if a person walked on two paths, one of them is Tamei, one is Tahar, we don't know which one he walked on. He's like, I'm not sure. So therefore we learned that Chachamim said it's Tahar. Now, what happens though, he has Shnei Shvilim, you have these two roads, one is Tamei and one is Tahar. Halach Be'echad Mehem. So you walked around along one of them. Now you know you walked on both roads. You walked along the first one, and you baked, I don't know, you took, uh, you took uh, truma flour and you made bread and you, they were eaten. Okay, then, Hiza Vishana Vitaval Vitahar. Hiza, he sprinkled himself. Well, he got sprinkled with the Paraduma uh, stuff. He didn't know. Maybe I'm Tame, I don't know. So he went and he said, okay, like, you know, I'll go do it. And Vishana, he took the, te- the second sprinkling. Shana means he repeated. Because you have to do two sprinklings on the third and seventh day. But Tabal went to the mikvah. But now he's back. Then va'alach b'sheni. Then he walked on the second road. Ve'asat taharot. And then he made taharot. Hare elu taharot. Those are also taharot. So meaning, it's like it's an interesting thing about Svekot. In each case, since they're individual cases, in each case when he walked, we don't know did is the one that he walked on tamei, or is the one that he walked on tahor. And so he made taharot. So we say sapek tumer b'shuta rabim b'shuta rabim tahor. And that's fine. And then the second case, now the reason why he had to go to the mikvah in between is because if he didn't, if he, and, and be mitaher, because if he didn't, then we know he's definitely Tameh. But here we don't know because he went and did the whole Tahara process. He purified himself. And then he went and he baked, you know, he went on the second road and then he baked Tahara, he baked Tahara road bread, baked Truma bread with the second, you know, after walking on the second road. The second one is also Taharot. Why? Because again, each case individually is a case of Suffolk Tuma Bershuta Rabim. But, Im kayamot harishonot. If the first bread is still around, they weren't weren't eaten. Then elu va elu tluyo. Then each one is called tluyo. You can't burn them, but you can't get rid of. You can't. You cannot eat them. Why? Avagav de bishna. If so, why are they tluyo? Even though individually it would have been okay if they had come individually. Mishnayim shalchu mikminon kol chad v'chetzatar. If there are two people that walk, okay, we we we're going to see that each one is tahor. Hacha here. Regarding one person at two times, lo shayach letaher bekayama. If they're both here, you have the guy walked in two cases on both places, and each one he made he made truma bread. So one of those definitely is tameh. Okay. If two people come to ask at the same time, then they're tamein. Okay. V'chad afilu b'ze acharze. In this case, one going one after the other, kibat achad. I mean, it's like the two people walking at the same time. We have two breads in front of us. We have to treat both of them as suffix and they're tuluyot. But, im lo tahar bein taim, let's say he didn't, he wasn't mitayer between them, meaning he didn't go, uh, he didn't go to the mikvah, he didn't do the, the, the paradum in between. Harishono tuluyot. First ones are tuluyot. Vashniyot yisarev. The second one is sarev. Why? Because by the time, the first one, you don't know. Was he tamer or was he not? The second one, you have to burn because by the second time, for definitely he's tamer, as we said before. Now, the Kahati points out, why does it say Rishonot Tuluyot? Why should you be, the Rishonot should be Tahoro. The first one you made is Tahoro because it's Suffolk to my Bershut Rabim. So he gives a couple of answers. The first answer he gives is it's Tuluyah because we're afraid that if you say it's Tahor, then people are going to say oh, and th- that the first road is Tahor and the second road is Tameh. And they're not even going to treat it like a Suffolk. That's one answer given by the, I think he says the Eliyahu Rabbah. Okay, that's an explanation of the Eliyar He said, but the Gra, the Vilna Gaon, said based on the Tosefta, he says, no, in the Tosefta, the language, Habi Shono Torot. So the Gra says, yeah, you got to change the mission, and the language should be Habi Shono Torot, and then the second ones, you have to burn. We'll stop here. As we always do, we're dedicated to learning to remember my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.